Greetings one and all, this is your host Grudgel again with another Fallout 4 video. This time we're back at the Red Rocket settlement just outside of Sanctuary Hills in the upper no northwest corner of the map. We're looking at a parking structure that is in between my Drumlin Diner and what will be a small shopping plaza over near the bridge to Sanctuary Hills. At this point you're looking at an exterior view of the structure itself prior to its repurposing and being built up in a more scrappy post-war kind of environment. This is just the parking garage structure as it would have been pre-war. Now we're going to take a look on the inside. You see the pedestrian stairs to the left because you don't want them walking up the vehicle ramp. That'd be dangerous. But again, this is what it would have looked like pre-war except for the fact that the vehicles are already destroyed, you know, um, burnt up and rusted and everything. So it's clearly post-war in that sense, but it hasn't been repurposed yet. These columns make for natural sections in the uh, parking garage. You got the ramp to the left and the stairs going up to the second floor and down to the shopping plaza area that has yet to be fully built. We're going to go ahead and take the stairs up to the second floor. But like I said, those columns make for natural sections in there, and you're going to see how I, re, uh, how I utilize that in the repurposing of this structure. Up here you got a lot of open area. All these vehicles stay in their locations. Some more are added actually, except for this pickup. It gets replaced by a different vehicle in the final build. And then a couple of vehicles end up on the ramp here too. Now that you've seen the empty structure during the day, we're gonna go ahead and take a quick look at the structure at night while it's empty as well prior to the repurposing. So here we are at the parking lot, uh, the parking garage, I should say, at night. We're gonna get an outside overview of how it's lit up and what it looks like. You can see most of the lights are doing a pretty fine job of illuminating it, though not overly so. You know, it's just enough to see and get by, but not so much that it's glaring or, or takes over the whole scene in any way. Now we're going to look in the interior. It gets pretty dark in here without a lot of the lights working. You can still see where the vehicles are, but uh, and you can see out the windows a little bit, but it's a pretty dark night, so it's kind of hard to see any further. But uh, especially over here on the left-hand side, this section where the lights are out and it's just a garage wall back there, you can barely see that vehicle that's sitting there, for example. But again, the path to the ramp over there and then the stairs. And when we go up the stairs to the second floor, this is what we're looking at. Lots of open area, like I said, lots of place to work with. So now you get to see what I've done with it all. Okay, now that you've seen the parking garage empty, time to see what it looks like post-war. In the post-war environment, I've converted the parking garage into an apartment complex, basically. The residents call it the lot. So they'll refer to it as saying, I live in number six at the lot. Or something like to that effect. Anyway, it's as you can see, they built a number of shacks up on the second floor of the parking garage. And on the first floor, uh, there are other shacks that are built. Since it seemed kind of naturally sectioned out I figured that made sense to go ahead and make apartments in there we're gonna go ahead and uh, take a tour of the inside and I'll show you what the residents of the lot have going for them first off it's a secure entrance with a it's all walled up this this gate is open right now and there's a pedestrian door over there as well you know a single door on the side and then when you first come in, you have a common area for seating and uh, she's helping keep it clean right now and for socializing and stuff in here as well. Got some lights and uh, some candles and whatnot. Bunch of piles of junk, of course, because it is the Commonwealth. You go into apartment one, which has a gnome and a baby carriage outside. But when you go into apartment one, you see that the walls, the windowed areas of the parking garage have been 
kind of secured up with either fencing, cinder block, wood, or beach fencing here, whatever. Anything to help make it secure, but it still also provides them a view and the fresh air around the lake and everything. You can see this guy's kind of into nautical stuff, nautical decorations with the boat and the buoys and such. And he makes his bed in the bed of a pickup truck that was parked here. You may have remembered that from the pre-war version of the parking garage, or at least the the pre-occupied version of the parking garage. I mean, obviously those cars weren't destroyed pre-war per se. Anyway, when you go into apartment number two, there's two occupants in here. All their stuff's neatly up in those shelves. And these shelves, they've added a ceiling lamp, uh, a ceiling fan, excuse me. They've got chain link for their window, blocking it up. And their beds, one's on the floor, one's in this old car. And then when you go into apartment three, Over here, it's the guard's house. This is where the guard on the first floor lives. He's got his books there, and that's his reading lamp. He likes to sit in his chair and read. He takes his breaks in here, too, sometimes. Just walks over and takes a break. But you see, he made his bed in that car. And a little storage area on the back of it. And then we go into apartment four. And this is a military type individual as well. You got the posters, all patriotic and whatnot, and military weapons on display. He's put storage on top of this car. And his bed up on a platform at the back of the car as well. You have to go upstairs for apartment five. Oh, he's waiting on his tea, this guard. Yeah, you see he's got tea on a hot plate right there, tea kettle. So anyway, you come around here to the ramp to go upstairs, or, or this is one of the ways upstairs. Uh, I put all this wood here initially to try to fix the fact that the settlers weren't using the ramps. That it didn't seem like it's nav meshed properly or something. But um, they still won't use even with the wood there for whatever reason. So instead I kind of justify it as it helps provide footing for when it gets cold and perhaps the parking lot the parking garage the cement would ice over or if it's rain it rains and it gets slick then that helps provide some footing at least for people who do want to walk up and down from this guard position you can see a great view all the way down to the intersection in concord and all across the red rocket settlement area as well this guard who mans this position rotates between this position and another position on the other corner but till we get there you can see the common area of the second floor with the seating by the by the patio tables and the campfire and the fire barrels and like i said that guard mans this position over here as well which has a great view out here over the open area behind the Drumlin Diner and along the lake. Sometimes he takes his breaks in his apartment, which is apartment six right there. We'll get to that in a second. Apartment five right here. Oops, backed up into the trees there. But apartment five and six are like side by side here. Um, now I'm not going to lie. I didn't even bother decorating really other than putting these curtains in, uh, for any of the structures up here on the second floor. I use sim settlements 
And these are all interior, uh, residential interior areas from some settlements. Now I did add some things like I added uh, a little shade wall here and added a little patio and put these chairs out here for people to enjoy the day. But these residences are all from some settlements, like I said. Even this shop right here that's in between residence um, seven and eight is a Sim Settlements shop where the guy produces aluminum. Excuse me, I lost control of the controller for a second there. Anyway, that's shop seven, or excuse me, apartment seven over there on, on the right side with apartment eight on the left side and that aluminum shop in between. You go into apartment eight, he doesn't have a door, he just has a curtain that he slides over if he wants privacy. And then here's his interior from some settlements as well. You come back out here into the common area to get to apartment nine, it's over across the way. And you see he's got a little sitting area out front of his apartment. You come into apartment nine and it is another some settlements interior, residential interior. He has a door going straight into his shop though because this is a, another some settlements um, industrial interior, just like the one across the way, but it's a, it's, it's a different scrap guy. And he's got an exit door out here as well. Um, right here under this Raider tarp to, for protection from rain and stuff, this guy likes to scrap these cars. So that's what he's working on. So that's the second floor of the lot, as it were. And then when you come down the stairs, you come down here and there's going to be an apartment 10. It was added after the fact. That's why it's not considered a first floor apartment. This guy just started squatting out here and then he started building something and then they just decided, you know what? All right, we'll make you apartment 10. He's got his collection of stuff in here and his psycho art and some crates and whatnot and his sleeping bag and that's apartment 10. Now that is not a sim settlement interior. None of the interiors of the first floor are sim settlements interiors. But then when you go down into the area between the shopping center and the parking garage, you can come down and access the showers and the bathrooms. They have a water pump back here to provide water and water pressure to the showers. The shower shack is considerably tall. That's because I wanted these windows up top so that the steam from the showers has a place to escape instead of just rotting the wood any further. Oops, went outside the wall. Um, you just hang your shower or your towel, excuse me, outside and use the shower curtains inside and they have the graded floors for drainage. Have a sink for hand washing and a couple of outhouses, which I don't need to bother going inside. You know what outhouses look like on the inside. Anyway, that's the parking garage full tour during the day. And then here's an overview again from the exterior. Tell me what your thoughts are. Um, after this, I'm not sure if we're going to work the Drumlin Diner or the Shopping Center. Probably the Shopping Plaza next. And then the Drumlin Diner. Uh, but after this, I'm going to go ahead and go to some night shots and show you what the parking garage looks like during the evening hours. Give you a quick tour of that. So stand by for that. And now for a quick overview of what it, the apartment in the parking garage look like at night first off here is the outside of the parking garage itself with the entirety of the place visible as you can see all the way around There's plenty still going on and the parking garage lights are still working on the exterior at least the the ones on the poles 
And then when we go inside, we have the common area again with the seating and the table and everything. The AI doesn't seem to know how to figure out this hallway very well. So there's only so much I can do. But you go into apartment one. You had somebody in their bed. Up on the bed of the truck. So you can see it does work. They will use it. There's apartment one for you. And then we go down the hall. Into apartment two. Got somebody in that bed. Somebody in that bed. As long as they can get to the bed. So the, the trick is having the beds off to the side, you know, like right on the edge of the, the cars and things like that. Then at least they can use them. Get into apartment three. This guy's a guard, so you won't see him really going to bed. But... He's using his reading light, sitting there in his reading chair. And then I doubt that apartment four is being, I don't know, maybe. I did just hear the door. Oh, she's right there. She can't seem to figure it out. Maybe things are in the way. I don't know. I'd have to double check. But I think that's her room. I'm not sure. Anyway, you can see how it's all lit up. Maybe she just wants to stay up. She can't get to sleep. I don't know. He's still waiting on that tea. That's crazy. Anyway, when we come out here, we've got the guard post that he mans. Let's see what it looks like at night. And then when we go up the ramps, this guard's just assuming his position. In this corner see it's pretty dark down in Concord but you get a good view of the red rocket from up here like I said and then out over the darkness behind the drumlin and then on this level we've got the common area it's nicely lit for how dark the night is And then we have the individual apartments, five and six. Oh, this guy's coming out of five, I guess. Oh, wrong way. Then you come into six. This is the guard's apartment. And then you come into seven. Come into the shop at night. Maybe you had, you had a little work you wanted to get done, I guess. Come into apartment eight. A bunch of people aren't in their rooms and it's after midnight. Then you go over here to apartment nine. See, he's in bed. Good for him. Go through his shop. She's just, I guess she's just getting some night air. Enjoying the view and whatnot. Then if you were to go down these stairs. Come into apartment 10. And then, again, if you have to use the facilities, then you have the outhouses out here and the showers at night, all nicely lit up for you as well. 
anyway, I hope you like the build. If you have any commentary or anything on any of it, I, I definitely appreciate comments. And hit the like and subscribe again as a reminder. Appreciate it. I look forward to completing the Drumlin Diner and the Shopping Plaza and then and giving a tour of those as well as a tour of the final overall settlement when it is completed as well. Until then, take care. This is Grudgel signing out.